So remember how in part four I said we found more downer tech two days after we finished part three? I literally rendered out part four two days ago and I found a really big hydro pump tech. I'm absolutely awful when it comes to doing mini parts and guides, but this really deserves its own video. If you're following me on Twitter, you've probably already seen my terminology video for hydro pump, and that's pretty much what this video is gonna be. So without further ado, let's break it down! Starting off with Greninja's teeter animation. If you make Greninja roll from ledge in teeter animation, you'll see that he rolls a little bit further than if his back was facing towards the ledge. There are certain pumps that Greninja can only get from the teeter animation, so keep that in mind. Next up, buffered aerials. So if you buffer an aerial by holding jump in a direction on your C-stick, you'll go a set distance every time. This can be used to put yourself in just the right position to get a setup. There are certain setups, like on PS2 or Battlefield, where you want to hold in a direction and press A instead of using the C-stick. This will make it so that you keep going in that direction and don't lose your momentum. Hold versus no hold hydro pumps. So this hydro pump animation right here always goes a set distance. But if you were to keep holding out after the hydro pump, you would go an even further distance. Until today, pretty much, this is the only way that we thought of using hydro pumps. So if you literally just let go after inputting that final direction of Hydro Pump, you have access to so many more setups. Alright, this is the ultimate tech of Hydro Pump that we just discovered today. Brace yourself because you're about to be blown away. So what you want to do is HOLD IN! No, I'm just kidding, I just didn't use that joke in part 4. So check this out, this is really interesting. Whenever people started understanding Ultimate's buffer system, they really hated it. One of the biggest complaints was about C-Stick Aerials. So instead of having its own special input that attacks in a direction, whenever you perform a C-Stick Aerial, it moves in that direction and presses A for one frame. One frame! So if you were to input a bunch of non-buffered backers, you'd see that Greninja goes further and further each time. We use this for a bunch of setups, such as using the spawn platform on Yoshi's Story. But in certain cases, you can get away with not using this setup at all. Check this out, this is so cool! Remember how I said if you input a C-Stick Aerial, you input in that direction for one frame? ONE FRAME! That's the important part. You can combine this with the end lag of certain moves and not even input that aerial. This means that Greninja will move very slightly in a direction for one frame. Let me show you how little space we travel from this. So if Greninja performs a non-buffer back air from Teeter, he won't be in Teeter anymore. Makes sense, right? He moved for one frame. If we do a full hop shuriken, we go right back into Teeter. But if we were to input a C-Stick back air during the end lag of the shuriken, the game would still move us for that one frame. Look at that, we're not in teeter anymore! It might not look like much, but for ledge cancelling, this is huge. Let me show you what I mean. We've managed to find a lot of setups for ledge cancels that barely don't work. Take this one for example on Battlefield. If we were to run off the platform, touch the ground, and input a no hold hydro pump, you'd see that Greninja goes just past the platform meaning that we don't get the cancel. Introducing C-Shifting! Check this out, same setup. Run off the platform, touch the ground, and put a no-hold Hydro Pump. Once we enter Freefall, we tap in with the C-Stick. From there, the game moves us in for one frame, and that one frame is enough to get the cancel. Let's go to another scenario. So in the guide I mentioned this spot for ledge canceling on Yoshi's Story. This is an actual ledge cancel, but getting it is a little bit inconsistent. There can be times where you just barely touch the platform and don't get the cancel. Don't worry guys, Papa Lotion came through. So you might be thinking, oh we're already doing a held hydro pump, we can't see shift in a direction we're already moving in. Check this out. During the end leg of sure it can do a C-stick input to the right. This makes Greninja move ever so slightly to the right during end lag. And from here you can buffer a hydro pump and fucking nail that ledge cancel every time. C-shifting is starting to seem pretty damn useful, right? Oh look at that, we're on Battlefield again! So say we're trying to get this cancel and we go just past the platform. Okay, this is awkward. We're already holding to the left. If we C shift to the right, we're not gonna go to the right, right? Right? No, you don't override yourself and go to the right, but you do input left and right for one frame and the last I checked, left plus right equals zero. Wait, what? So yes, you can still C shift in the opposite direction of your held hydro pump. All you have to do is input that opposite direction while you're in freefall, and you got it. The only thing here is that you might input an aerial. The game doesn't let you attack while you're in freefall, so if you ledge cancel within 9 frames of your C-Stick input, you'll perform an aerial. To avoid this, you want to input with the C-Stick as soon as possible. 
but if you're fast enough, you can override this buffered aerial with something such as a buffered hydro pump or jump. Back to PS2, let's combine some tech. So if we do an on-spot dash from Teeter, we put ourselves in just the right position. From here, do a buffered short hop shuriken. While we're in the end leg of shuriken, input C-stick to the left. Then buffer a hydro pump and do a Dua Lipa. Keep on holding out after the Dua Lipa. Then one final time tap in on your C-stick and you should get the cancel. So we basically combine two C-shifts to get one ledge cancel. These setups are so cool, dude, I swear. All right, new stage, we're on town. From the respawn platform, if you were to input a held hydro pump to the right, you would go way too far. While holding to the right, input two C-shifts in the air. Check that out, we got the cancel. If you're high up enough off the ground and have enough time, you can input multiple C-shifts in a row. All right, here's the final cancel I'm gonna teach you. Remember near loops from part one? We have even more. This works from pretty much any ledge cancel. Once you get a ledge cancel, buffer a double jump Nair. Nair and up air are different than water shuriken because you can C-shift during the move's animation. From here, make an input on your C-stick towards the stage. From this, buffer a no hold hydro pump going towards the stage and back out to ledge. And then you can repeat this cycle over and over and over and over again. This is just so cool, dude. I swear, there's so much tech just waiting to be found with this. But yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for this mini guide or whatever the hell this was. Something you should know, I am gonna keep a document in the description of ledge cancels I find on certain stages. If you find any setups, make sure to add me on Twitter because there is so much to be discovered with this. Fuck, my water fell. But yeah, I'll keep you guys updated on this tech and hopefully I see you all for part 5 of the guide. Take care.